I actually got shocked that a lot of you guys were interested in the last video. Thank you so much for liking and viewing it. I would go over the comments more later on today and try to test a few things out at night and hopefully release a video clearing up some of them. But in this video will just be a quick test of the invincibility frames for Dynast Finesse of Bloody Hillis, Bloodhound's Finesse of Bloodhound's Fang, and Vow of the Indomitable for small, medium, and large shields. Sorry to be sounding like a broken record, but just in case someone is new to the channel and didn't watch the last video, I have to say it again. My game was capped at 60 frames per second. I chose the testing area because it doesn't make my frames drop. Frames were counted via timecode on Adobe Premiere Pro. Start of the timecode was manually placed by me by observing frame by frame the moment the animation starts to happen by finding portions of the character that starts a movement. I'm not a machine, so human error might be a thing here. For the bloody hell list, the moment you press L2 or whatever your keybind is for the skill, it seems like it doesn't have that much of a delay before the iframes start to happen. I was surprised of how big the iframes are in this thing. It's around 41, and it has bleed, and it's a thrusting weapon. For the Bloodhound's finesse, please bear with me here. I don't have a macro that can press the heavy attack follow-up the soonest after you press L2. I'm mashing as fast as I can as you can see in the video, so those 117 frames you are seeing right now labeled wind up might go down a bit more because of human error. If you are to convert that into seconds, that's almost 2 seconds of wind up. In Adobe Premiere Pro, 60 frames equals a second, so 117 is 1 second and 57 frames, not 57 milliseconds. And the thing that you should be wary of is this windup is not an iframe at all. I thought it's an iframe before, but yeah, it's not. Next up is the Vow of the Indomitable. Like I said a while ago, 60 frames is equivalent to 1 second in Adobe Premiere Pro. Across all the shields, may it be small, medium, or great, there is a delay of 7 frames before the invincibility frames becomes active. With the 7th frame included, you will have 60 plus frames of invincibility. That's a whole second. I've checked this so many times, but the great shield is down by one invincibility frame. As compared to small and medium having 62, the great shield only has 61. I don't think it matters unless, of course, you're the Flash or Quicksilver. And if ever you are as fast as them, stop watching this. Just, just go save the world or something. That's it for this video. I'll go over the comments in the last video and see things I can test later at night and hopefully have another video out for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, a like and a sub is greatly appreciated. See you in the next one. Get